And good evening. A Northern Virginia high schooler went from student to suspect this morning after state police revealed he is the one responsible for the double murder in Halifax County last weekend. Police arrested 18 year old Muhammad Ali, charging him with two counts of first degree murder. And tonight he's back in our area. Less than an hour ago, he arrived at the Halifax Adult Detention Center. 10 News had a crew waiting at the jail all day and was there when Ali arrived to be booked into the jail. And that is where we find reporter Shane Dwyer tonight. Shane, what have you been able to learn about the case? Well, John and Brittany, we were expecting Allie to be here much earlier in the evening. We were told we were told he would be here around six o'clock, but it was not about until 10 when a convoy of police vehicles showed up here and dropped him off. Now again, he was arrested earlier this morning at his high school in Northern Virginia, but is now back here in Halifax. Of course, a number of police officers were with him when he arrived here at the jail. We tried asking them questions about the case, but they said they had nothing to add. A police convoy arrived in Halifax late Thursday night with the man police say the public helped them catch. This is our first look at 18 year old Muhammad Ali, a high school senior arrested at TC Williams High in Alexandria Thursday morning. He's charged with two counts of first degree murder and using a gun while doing it. 19 year old Ayanna Griffin and her boyfriend, 21 year old Natumbo Bianda, were found dead along Highway 58 in Halifax County over the weekend. Uh, it did bring um, a small piece of relief and that really felt good and that's something that when this type of tragedy hits a family as hard as it hits, you're scrapping for any piece of hope. Ayanna Griffin's dad was thankful for the news that someone had been arrested. His daughter and her boyfriend from the D.C. area were said to be in Halifax County over the weekend picking up a friend when they died. Just what led to this? Why, why would you have pulled that trigger twice and, and taken that out? You, you know, from what I understand, this is a this is a kid in high school and, and an athlete. The scene originally looked like a car crash on Highway 58, but in reality was a murder scene. Griffin's family says the two victims were each shot in the head. It's unclear how the suspect and the victims knew each other, and police have yet to share a motive. Allie's next step is to go before a judge here in Halifax County for his arraignment. That could be as early as tomorrow. It just depends on how long it takes the paperwork to go through. Live in Halifax, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.